when we only had a few days left, we took, we realized the old project really did not work. So, <laughs> so we decided to make a conveyor belt instead. All right. So there, I, I got a picture of your program. Let's have a look at the conveyor belt right here. Okay. And what kind of circuitry are you using for it? Um, this is based on two side-directional um, yeah. motors. Yeah. Or, well, gear Switch motors, actually. And what do the switches do? Oh, they're well labeled. Uh, let me get, have stop. a look. It, this yeah, one yeah, stops yeah, yeah. it, this good. one makes it reverse, that makes it go slower, that makes it go faster, and that makes it go That's cool. cool. Awesome. And one and five together just end the program completely. Right. Okay. Right, go. So that moves it, that reverses the direction. Can we do, uh, okay, don't bother with the chips, can we just do the speed? Oh, sure. Okay. So this makes it go faster, this slows it down. Slowing down? Yeah, yeah, here we go. And this feeds it. And then let's stop it and see what happens to the light. Okay. And that's it. And that's your bi directional motors? Gear. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, no, circuitry, sorry. And then you got gear motors, bi directional gear motors. Awesome. And then your program just stays like that. The program just has instructions. Yeah, the program just has instructions. I don't understand how you get it to stay like that. Because everybody else is. Uh, oh. You did it w because you didn't put outputs. Yeah. Yes. You didn't do any C out code. Yeah, I wanted. Yeah, I was thinking of so putting like. So you just like, did hardware. Yeah, I was thinking of putting this is the maximum speed, but then it would probably go down eventually. And then you won't be able to see the instructions, it won't be on the yeah. way in. So, yeah.